this is still Lion's Den. Samuel Clifford from Abuja is up next in the den. He is hoping that the opportunity he has found in the diversity of the Nigerian people will entice the Lions into an investment. Hello Lions, my name is Samuel Clifford, founder of Quiver Publishers. Today I have come to present to you a revolutionary product in the publishing industry, Udolu. Udolu is an audio distribution and production platform that allows authors convert their books from physical copies into audio copies. Now, the problem with physical books is, especially in Nigeria, is that most of these books are rooted in English language, which means um, people are cut off from information that will be relevant to them. A lot of people are suffering in business today while the information they need is available in a book, but they can't access it because of the language, and that is the problem we're looking to solve with Shudolu. Now, people suffering from dyslexia also have a problem with reading and understanding what is written in a book. And that is what we are coming to solve with Udolu, by presenting books to them in an easy to understand audio format. Now the question is, is there a market for these audio books in Nigeria? Sure, there is a market for it. So we're asking for 5 million naira for a 10% stake in our company. Thank you, and I hope you invest. A crisp, clear and confident pitch from Samuel Clifford, who is asking for 5 million naira in return for a 10% stake in his company, Udolu, his online audiobook service. But his presentation has left Dan and Garim with more questions than answers. What does Udolu mean by the way? It's like a compound word brought together. Uda, Olu. Okay. The sound of voices. Okay. Now shortened into Udolu. Okay. Yeah. Is there a proof of concept for this? Um, right now, we are still developing the, the app. This is a prototype of what it's going to look like by the time we're done. So we are still building it, and what, this is how it's going to come in. First. Somehow, okay. th that means um, you're not ready with any product. Okay, it's, so... It's an idea. You have an idea that you think might work, but I think it's a little bit premature. Uh, for you to come because um, the concept already exists with Audible. You know, Audible is owned by Amazon. Sure. Uh -huh. So I really am I'm confused. An idea without a prototype proves dissatisfactory to Dan and the Lions. However, Kiari Booker is hoping to gain more insight into the man behind the idea. What can you tell me about yourself? I have been um, an author for over 10 years. And uh, I went into full-time publishing as a three years ago because um, in Nigeria, as, as a matter of fact, um, there are just a few publishing houses that are willing to take on authors, first-time authors. So this moved me into going into publishing, helping other authors to self-publish. And that is where this came from. How much money were you making in the publishing business? I make money from other aspects of the business. We, the Quiver Publishers does ghostwriting. As of 2020, we made uh, about $5,000. So it's, it's more of the ghostwriting rather than the publishing? For the publishing part of it, you know, the, the, we realized somewhere around 250,000 Naira. Naira. Is it under the same ownership as this? Yes. So what are you asking the Lions to invest in? This or everything? Okay, so it, it depends on what the Lions want. We can, we can do this as a new company, start it afresh, or we can take it as part of River Publishers as well. So it depends on what the offer are they, is. Are the same money and the same terms? Yes. Of ownership. Samuel swings the tide back in his favor, baiting the Lions with a much juicier stake. Tech enthusiast, Bolaji Balogun wants to ensure the proposition is not an entrapment before he bites. Where are you in the development process for this app? Okay, so, so we, have, we have done our landing page. We have um, come up with a design and concept behind it. Now we are at the point where the codes and the back end need to go into place here. Yeah. How long? What do you give, think? Give or take uh, two to one month, this should be up and running. And what constrains you? Money? 
At this point, yes, because we need, we need the services of a senior developer. Is this distribution or transcribing? Can I give you my book and then this thing converts it to audio? Okay, so that is one of the things we need um, um, funding for. So what we're looking to do is establish um, studios. Did you say studios, not studio? Yeah. Are you saying five million for the studio? Not, not no. A millionaire would get us three studios. Three, three studios. standard yeah, recording, the equipment, voiceover, yeah. the staff, and yeah. the place, and the just, light. No, just for the for the equip for the studios itself, equipment, rains, power. Then for a few. How staff. long will this five million last before you need money again? If we run just on the finances um, we'll be getting, at least we should run for six months. It will give you six months of, of yeah. lifeline. You don't need five million naira to me. For proof of concept, if you had gone to a studio, rent a studio, you can rent a studio. Sure, sure. There are studios are a dozen, a dime a dozen now sure. in Lagos that musicians all use. And gotten somebody in there to try this thing out and come here to show us, I think people would have been super excited about it. So my advice would be really to focus Get this app up and running. Okay. And then maybe you'll get traction where investors will be interested. But this as a business now for me, I don't think it's a business I'll be investing in. So I'm out. Thank you. And Dan drops the first blow, unable to shake off the lack of a prototype. Paul Owanibe, on the other hand, wants to assess further the entrepreneur's idea and its potential for financial success. How do you make money? It is an open system where an author could sign up with us, place their books on this platform, and we'll get a percentage of whatever profit this, um, um, whatever they sell their books for. So for authors who cannot afford to convert their books into audio formats, we'll take those books from them for a particular percentage, an increased percentage, convert those books for them. That is the reason why we need those studios. Convert those books for them, place them on the platform. Then as the sell, we'll recover money for the recording and make profit from there as well. So you're going to stake out. So a big part of this, your business, is not just the recording studio, but it's the person who's going to transcribe, you know, someone who has a clean voice, yes? Sure. You're going to have to pay that person a salary. Here's the thing. The, um, authors, it is best to have authors, you know, read their books you know, have it recorded. Because when an author records the, their books themselves, there's a passion that backs up the voice. First of all, I don't think that because I'm a good author necessarily means I'm a good reader. Um, to do an audio book, you have to speak with yes. such clarity. Uh, and your voice has to carry, you know, pronunciation. It's yes. so punctuation, exactly. exclamations, the emotions, to be able exactly. to transfer them into uh, um, the book is so important. Uh, it doesn't mean the author can because they wrote the book. I like the idea. Um, I like the social uh, impact part of it where people can actually listen to books in their language. So it makes more meaning and more sense um, to them. But unfortunately, I just think that you're still a long way away from this becoming a business. Um, and it's not what I'm willing to invest in today, so I'm out. Adenike Oglesi shuts her pad, unwilling to take a bite of Samuel's audiobook business. Has Paul Owanibe heard enough to come to his own decision? I like what you're doing. I, there's a business here somewhere, sure. but it's, there's, it's nowhere near a business yet. I'm prepared to back that zeal, right? Um, but only with conditions precedent. I want to make you an offer. I'll give you all your money, okay. yes. Um, initially, for 40% of your business, you will pay all that money back, yes, within 24 months, and I'll reduce the 40% of the business to 20%. Okay. I'll control the governance rights of the board until you've paid me back, then you take control of the, the governance rights of the board, the structure of it. The conditions precedent would be you, you'll finish this app and test it, okay. so it works. Um, second, you will convince me that you can create this studio with the money yeah, I, I will give you. And I will go as far as giving you a place to do the studio. Okay. Okay. And lastly, a lot of the money that 
of the five million as much as, as possible. I want to pay directly to the suppliers you point me to. Yes, that you're going to use the money for. Okay. Yeah. That's my offer. To An interesting offer for Samuel Clifford to consider. The full five million naira for a 40% stake, which is 30% more than his initial offer, with certain criteria attached. Will Kiari Booker throw down the gauntlet and propose a counter offer to Paul's? Samuel, um, I like your the idea in general, but it will take much longer than you are, than you think. The time frame need to be expanded, and therefore, the resource requirement, money, may may also be much higher than this. Uh, for now, uh, I cannot invest in you, and therefore, I'm I'm out. Kiari Booker takes himself out of the running for Udolu. Will Bolaji Balogun be willing to join the race and make Samuel's decision a little more difficult than it seems now? Samuel, where do you work out of? Um, I moved to Abuja, but uh, I have a base here. In Lagos? Yes. So, as you develop this thing, do you and your co-developers gather together in an office every day? No, we do, do it this work, or you do it all remotely? Remotely, yeah. Okay. It's at a stage where it needs a lot more collaboration. Yeah? I'm going to make you an offer. I will give you all the money you want um, for a 35% shareholding. Okay. A key condition for me is we'll provide you some space in our office in Abuja. Yeah, for you and whoever else is on your team to come in and work, work yeah. you know, quite regularly, even if it's a few days a week. If you can complete this app, yeah, by the end of this year, right? And we can start signing on some offers. I'm happy to roll back to 25%. Does that make sense? Sure. Thank you for the offer. Um, I'll go with it. Ah, you just ignored me like that. I'm still ready for that offer as well, huh? but I'll uh, go with that. You, you have some golden chains. <laughs> what what <laughs> were my chains? Bologi has the same chain. I said she developed the app. No, 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 no. He's going to go far, this man. Congratulations. I think you do extremely well. Thank you. Well done. Thank you so much. A happy ending for Samuel as Bolaji Balogun takes a 35% bite of Udolu for 5 million naira, giving him an option to further buy back 10%. Samuel leaves the den pumped and raring to make Udolu's voice heard in every corner of Nigeria. Lion's Den is proudly sponsored by Ecobank and Chapel Hill Denim and supported by Bank of Industry and Development Bank of Nigeria with the Lagos State Internal Revenue Service as strategic partner.